guys, a uh, quick farmstead, homestead update. Added 10 Caternics. I've had them for about three weeks, uh, excuse me, about four weeks now. Um, and great little birds. Uh, we, we tried to hatch some uh, at our, our old place. We ended up with only three hatching and one surviving. And of course being the rooster, uh, ended up giving him away uh, eventually when we moved because we couldn't move with him. He was more like a pet than anything else. Uh, so, um, <clears throat> but these ones, I of course, you know, just use what I have, uh, kind of something I like to do, and um, put them here in the greenhouse. Uh, got them all set up. Uh, I had a, a, a heat element for them, uh, the ceramic heat elements, like using a uh, terrarium for like, uh, you know, snakes and whatnot. Uh, found those to be a little safer to use um, and uh, and then of course they don't produce the light they just produce heat um, <clears throat> so had that in here while they finished to develop their their adult feathers uh, so that they could keep themselves warm now they don't need it uh, so I'll, I'll throw in a little quick uh, video or, or, or picture of when I first got them and you'll be able to see the I'm pretty sure in that I'll double check but the the growth of these leftover brussels sprouts and that one dinosaur kale from this spring from this year's season which uh, that can that's a story in itself but uh, i was gone for about two months out of the summer and uh, uh one of the kids accidentally turned off the automatic wiring system for in here for at least several days during you know 90 degree heat and it killed most everything in here uh, that was growing. Uh, plus, it was pretty weeded over. I had some quite a bit of work to do with that when I got back. Of course, I made the kids help. But um, <clears throat> uh, so to make it take advantage because we're not really growing anything, and I'll let these run their cycle if they produce. I mean, there's the little little tiny um, Brussels sprouts on there, but they've grown. Uh, a lot and gotten much greener since uh these quail been here of course because they're adding fertilizer to the soil um so mutual benefit for us you know we're getting uh the plants are getting the nutrition they want and uh and eventually we'll be getting eggs out of these guys and uh once i get enough we'll start incubating probably you know look for a 10 count just uh because of the odds of survival as we perfect our incubating process, it can be a little tricky. Um, you know, we've done it once before, and I've tried with uh, chicken eggs here recently, and um, had only four to start with, and uh, two were unfertile, and the other two developed. One attempted to hatch and did a, uh, did hatch, but I think he hatched a little, or she hatched a little prematurely and uh, didn't survive um so th th there's some there's some learning process going on there uh they always say to not start with you know try to start with more than that because um you know the survival rate is usually pretty low uh ideally i'd have a you know with our chickens they'd have a broody chicken that might be willing to hatch these eggs and their own but currently out of the chickens we have none of them like to brood so um maybe as they get a little bit older We'll see, uh, but right now they 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 don't really sit on their own eggs. Uh, so uh, we'll we'll continue this adventure and see how it, it turns out for us. But like I said, it's going to benefit uh, the the greenhouse soil, uh, which we'll be adding more and doing some improvements probably throughout the winter and then into the spring to be able to grow more in here um, as it go. And I'll probably have to as I expand the uh, the cubby size of quail i'll probably have to um maybe add some additions to to this or uh you know build them their own or an additional aviary or something like that that i can kind of rotate them in and out of here um to get the benefit of pest control because they do eat love to eat bugs and um they don't cause much damage to the plants uh, you'll see they will peck and stuff that stuff if you look at these uh the bottom leaves here they've been pecking at those a little um which is day good for them and getting a little greenery. Um, they've even pecked a little bit. If you look over there at the bottom of the Brussels sprouts, they don't seem to be messing with that sweet potato that I just threw on the ground. Um, and uh, 
but they do dig a little around the base uh, of your your uh, plants you know looking for dirt to you know dust themselves um, it does help that I kind of keep the soil over here moist with this drip system um, they, I think they are less likely to um, so they can cause some minor damage to your plants especially if you have fragile plants but <clears throat> all in all they seem to be doing just fine in here and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll continue to I'll continue to share updates as uh, the as they develop and they start laying eggs which should be here shortly so thanks for watching this is 76 have a great day